So welcome everyone to the Egypt Center's 50th anniversary conference, celebrating 50 years since the Welcome Collection, uh, part of it, arrived in Swansea in 1971. Over the next three days, we'll have uh, fantastic talks by colleagues uh, throughout the UK uh, from different institutions who receive a welcome material. So I'm going to stop my screen sharing now, and I'd like to call on um, Professor Paul Boyle, who, who is the Vice Chancellor of Swansea University, and who's going to deliver the opening remarks uh, to the conference. Over to you, Paul. Thanks very much indeed, Ken, uh, and it's great to be able to see you here. Um, wonderful that you're hosting this conference. So, Prinam Dar, and good afternoon to everyone who's joining us. Uh, fantastic to see such a good audience uh, for such an important event. Um, clearly, this is the celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Welcome Collection arriving at Swansea University's Egypt Centre, uh, and that's a big moment for us as an institution. Many of you may be aware that we've just passed our, our 100 year celebration for the university as a whole. And we were established as a university by our community, for our community. And we're extremely proud of the various things we do in relation to our civic mission. And I can't think of a better example uh, than the Egypt Centre, which plays such an important role uh, with our local community, a whole series of schools and other people who take advantage of the, the wonderful collection we have and use it as an opportunity to engage not just around that collection, but to engage with us as an institution as well. So we're really proud of the work that's done. And obviously it's something we want to see continued in the future as much as possible. At the heart of the Egypt Centre, as you all know, and the reason you're here, of course, is that wonderful welcome collection, that the 4,000 or so objects uh, that arrived here in, I think it was 1971, rem and remains, of course, the largest collection of Egyptian uh, antiquities in, in Wales. Uh, since then, of course, um, the Egypt Centre has put on a whole host of different uh, opportunities for people to engage with that. I think prior to COVID, we were attracting something like 18,000 visitors a year uh, from across the world to see the collection. So this is something that has uh, a real resonance with people across the world, and particularly, of course, for us with our local community. Um, Obviously, over the last 18 months, things have been difficult and, and, and we recognise for the centre, for our whole institution, it's been hard uh, to act uh, as we would like to. We've not been able to invite as many people to our campus. Uh, the core mission of, of the centre to attract those people in has uh, been more difficult to achieve, but we're extremely pleased, I think, to be able to uh, recognise that the centre will be opening itself again to the public on Monday the 20th of September, so just a few days away. Uh, and of course, when they come in, they'll be greeted by a great team of volunteers. I think we have volunteers aged from 12 to 80, as I understand it, working with us in the centre, who know so much about that collection and play a really significant role in not only the educational aspects of it, but making it a fun visit and, and, and really getting people to engage. Uh, I'm obviously looking forward very much myself to being able to make another visit. Uh, I certainly enjoyed the last time I came along. So I'm really pleased to hear that you're opening up now. Uh, it is the moment for us to be able to get a little bit more open, of course, in, in a safer way as possible. Uh, for now, I'd just like to thank you all for attending today. I hope you're going to enjoy the conference. I'm sure you will over the next couple of days. I'm just sorry to say that I can't be there with you. Uh, I can only attend this very short, uh, short opening address, I'm afraid, as I, I have to head off uh, to a, a meeting in Birmingham. Uh, but I would like to formally take this opportunity to thank the Wellcome Trust, um, on behalf of our university for making the Egypt Centre possible through the original loan of these fantastic objects. Uh, and finally, of course, to everyone who supported the Egypt Centre over the past 50 years, especially over the past 18 months when it's been such hard work, and I hope that you all enjoy the rest of the conference. So thank you very much indeed, Ken, it's a delight to be with you. Sorry, as I say, that I can't be with you for longer. Thank you very much for that, Paul. That was, uh, that was fantastic and really Really great to have you here, even if it is just briefly, and hopefully we'll see you in the museum in the coming weeks and months now that we're opening again. So that's a, that's a great announcement to make that we are finally opening after 18 months of being closed uh, next week. I know a lot of people in the audience are very keen on visiting us, so you can now uh, come and do that. We'll be posting details onto our website, uh, how you'll be able to book, uh, as well as uh, on uh, drop-ins as well. So thank you very much, Paul.